I'm so happy you could be here with us at Wilson Intermediate School. Hoping you can enjoy a tour, see a little bit about our school, and meet some people. All right, come on in. I'm the school counselor for grades six, seven, and eight. My partner, Mrs. David, is next door working hard 
But I wanted to let you know if you ever need to talk to somebody or you're feeling down or sad or confused, angry, we're here for you to talk to. So don't ever be afraid to reach out to us. Mrs. David has slips in her classroom. She covers fifth and sixth grade, and those teachers all have little counselor request appointment slips that you can put in. And I have a link on the website that you can request an appointment to see me. Right. Some of our most frequently asked questions involve dress code, all right? And boys and girls have a different set of expectations when it comes to dress code. Girls, um, the biggest concerns for you are tank tops. We don't allow tank tops and shorts, skirts, and dresses can't be more than three inches from the back of your knee. So that's pretty long. Um, most shorts, skirts, and dresses don't, don't co come that low. So I would recommend, for the most part, our school is climate controlled and you would be comfortable in pants or capris all year long. Um, there's really not too much of a need to wear skirt, shorts, and dresses um, other than for gym class. Uh, when it gets warm or field day or special activities. All right, so that's that. Um, we also don't allow for destruction in jeans above the knee. So even if there's some kind of material above the knee, um, underneath your jeans and there's destruction in them, uh, you could be uh, sent to the office for dress code and nobody wants that. All right, so let's try and keep that on tack, track. Boys, you have um, the biggest one for you are the jeans. Again, that, that kind of covers both boys and girls. And then jerseys. If you like a sports team, you like a special basketball team, and you wear one of their sports jerseys, you can't wear just the jersey because no one wants to smell your stinky armpits. So I would say wear a t-shirt underneath that so that you can cover that up. All right. In the handbook, if you decide to come to Wilson, we will provide you with a handbook. And so we would recommend um, the dress code is outlined pretty clearly there. Um, I always tell my students when they start on their first day to tear that page out and keep it in the wallet or the purse of whoever does the shopping for you so that you can make sure that you're buying clothing that meets the dress code. Um, and then as far as time, that's another big question. What time does school open? What time do we get dismissed? School opens at 7.35. The doors are open at 7.35. Um, buses start dropping off around 7.20 and parents start dropping kids off around 7.20 as well. So there's a 15 minute period where students are outside kind of mingling about, talking, relaxing, catching up with their friends. Uh, so in the winter months I would recommend wearing a coat and a sweatshirt and maybe hats and gloves. But other than that, um, the doors will open at 7.35 and then students will be allowed to go to their to their classrooms. Uh, dismissal for busers is at 2.35 and for walkers or parent pickup, um, the dismissal is at 2.39 and that's just to help with the flow of traffic. The last one is a big popular question. We do tend to have a lot of questions about cell phone usage and um, while the students are allowed to use their cell phones at the high school, we do not allow for cell phone use here in the intermediate building. So students are allowed to have their cell phones with them. They must be off, turned off, powered off, and stowed in their locker. Um, students, if they are found to be in possession of their cell phone, and this is for a variety of reasons. We don't want students to have their phone stolen. We don't want them to be lost. Um, so that's why we ask for them to be in their, in their lockers. Or if your child is in fifth or sixth grade and is does not have a locker because our fifth and sixth grade kids have cubbies within their classroom, we recommend that those phones uh, stay at home if at all possible. Uh, and so if a student is found to be in possession of the phone or using the phone, that does become a disciplinary thing and students will be referred to our assistant principal, Ms. Petrucci, um, for consequences with regard to the severity of the infraction. All right. So I hope you guys all enjoyed your tour. I hope that it was informative and that you saw some things that were interesting and helpful in making your decision or making you feel comfortable. We have a great staff here at Wilson Area Intermediate School and every single person here in this building is super excited to meet you. So thanks for coming and we'll see you later.